The National Institute of Rural Development and Panchayati Raj established the National Rural Building Center at the Rural Technology Park in its premises to promote sustainable housing solutions along with various appropriate technologies to transform rural India. To promote sustainable housing technologies, various housing typologies blending both the traditional and modern construction techniques have been showcased at the National Rural Building Centre. These typology houses are constructed to enable the rural communities to construct their houses at an affordable cost, which are also environmentally sound. As conventional building techniques use energy-intensive processes and materials, it is time to adopt sustainable housing technologies which can also help in creating local employment and entrepreneurship. These sustainable housing techniques can help in addressing depletion of fertile soil used for making bricks, air pollution and negative health impacts on the people working in brick kilns and other social issues arising from migration to cities. The normal bricks which are used for constructing houses require burning and consume one-third of the energy of the total construction of the building. The brick industry is known for creating pollution with major pollutants like smoke, dust, etc. To avoid these problems, the alternative is compressed stabilized earth blocks, also known as compressed mud blocks. These blocks do not require any burning and the strength is achieved by curing with water for 21 days. The strength of the blocks is also more than 40 kilograms per square centimeter, whereas it is around 25 to 35 kilograms per square centimeter for the normal bricks. The blocks can be made using normal soil along with 7 to 10 percent of cement in a manual or mechanized compression press. Buildings up to two floors can be built without any support of RCC columns. Currently, two women entrepreneurs have come together and manage a production unit with automatic hydraulic CSC block making machines. It is also helping them to get financial support from the local bank. I think uh, government needs to support them continuously by giving some small small contracts like you know Anganwadi schools or small uh, schools or small small buildings, panchayat buildings, where they can utilize these bricks. The Yavatmal district administration of Maharashtra state has sought the help to promote the construction of Pradhan Mantri Avas Yojana houses for the rural poor. NIRD and PR is also conducting research to develop further products like roof tiles, paver blocks and floor tiles using the compressed earth technique. The use of sustainable building techniques can help in promoting livelihoods, better living conditions and protect the environment from further degradation. Therefore, it is important that the public and private bodies involved in the housing sector make serious efforts to adopt this very important aspect in construction projects.